welcome back to my channel and in today's video we are going to do a whole Samoan traditional food mukbang 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 you know Thanks. what i'm you know what i'm talking about but anyways i have my husband here he's ate with me on the vlogs um but this time we're gonna do a whole sit down mukbang so welcome hubs thank you honey Oh my gosh, this is kind of weird, huh? <laughs> I think the last, the last uh, mukbang, well, kind of generic mukbang that we did was uh, in New Zealand in the car. Yeah, we did was, that sushi. Yeah. Sushi. I kind of like it. I told her I think we should do more in the car. It just seems more intimate and I don't know, I like it, but I don't yeah. know. This is her channel, so I'm just supporting, a supporting cast. Thank you, honey. We went to the Polynesian Luau. Oh, it's a spot in uh, Daly City in Geneva. I think 2501 Geneva. If you Yelp it, look it up. They're the only store, I think, in the whole Bay Area. I mean, if you know other spots that sell traditional um, Samoan food, please let us know because we would definitely make it a point to drive out there. But as far as we know, that's the only spot that uh, actually sells um, authentic Samoan food. My cousin who actually goes, she lives down the street from this spot and her the owner's name is Lafi. They've been there for 19 years, she told us, because we when we did go over there, um, she was letting us know a little bit of the history of the of yeah. her little hole in the wall spot that's been there forever. A little and, small spot. And I remember when I was little, always going there with my aunties and stuff. So right here, let's start off with the sapsui. And basically it's noodles. And Joe tasted the meat and he said that it was turkey. turkey. Yes. And so this one here, in the foil, all of my Samoan subscribers probably already know everything on this table. But this is the palusami. Corned beef, coconut milk, and the leaves. Banana leaves. Yes. And disclaimer here, I did not grow up on this food. I, um, my mom, grow, I mean, raising, a, raising us, um, she made a lot of Filipino food because my grandma lived with us. And so she doesn't know how to make any of these dishes. That's why this is kind of like new to me. I, I don't re really remember exactly what's what mm -hmm. besides the sapsui. And um, over here, the taro, we, they call it galu. Then the banana with the, is it coconut? Is it made of coconut? Yeah. Or something co like that. Co coconut. And yes. And that's called fa'ilifu. Uh, I got the meat because I'm a meat eater. I got, it looks like they have barbecue chicken and they had the corned beef. I mean, they call it uh, bisupu. Yeah, bisupu. bisupu. Uh, and cabbage. So, cabbage. can't wait to dig in. Every time when I eat meat, I always have to have some kind of sauce. Like barbecue sauce, sriracha, hot sauce, sweet and He's sour sauce. Guy. I just have to have something to dip it in or try kind of hungry and just want yeah i literally starved myself all day today and that wasn't even on purpose and i'm like came home rushed home and i'm like i'm starving and it's pretty late right now so we're gonna go ahead and dig into our food and yeah i don't like i said i don't eat this often um actually i don't really eat Samoan food at all mm. when i'm in Samoa. here and please and educate us too yes because we said something wrong know. or if we you know I already know y'all be coming for me in the comments, so <laughs> y'all be coming for you, girl. Okay. Oh, oh yeah, you can for it. Y'all be coming for me in the comments. You know what? That's fine. Okay. I get it. I get it. You know what? I'll be back. I need to get a knife. I knew it. I knew we were gonna I know, I know. miss something. Uh, Alright, y'all. Let's dig in. But first, in. we do need to pray. Okay. Bapha time may I thank you God for this wonderful day. Please bless our food as it nourishes our body and and all my supporters. <laughs> thank you God for all each and every one of them. Amen. 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 You wanna um, put your hat to the back so oh, yeah. it's not like sorry. I just love my new worries hat. Sidebar here. 
Okay. Yeah, here in um, here in the States, if you don't know, we dedicate the month of October to breast cancer awareness. And um, most of the time, a lot of like the football teams, the NFL, is it just NFL and no, the you NBA? Know what? And that's why he's wearing um, his breast cancer awareness yeah. gear. Yeah, and if you, if you know a spot other than Daly City where they uh, have this food, the Samoan food, please let us know because we're willing to drive wherever to pick up. Wherever the, wherever the Samoan food is, <laughs> we are there. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, mm. Your girl is hangry about right now. Like, towards the end, I was like, come on, I'm so hungry. I'm seriously y'all. I was waiting all day for you to come home, but I know, Mason I'm sorry. Mason had a long long day, oh, long yeah. practice. Let me show them. The and this is the Busami. I just can you use a spoon. It's probably easier. Is it? I don't know. I think I'm going to start comparing it to uh, the uh, culture center. That fish. I still can't get off of that fish. It's like a full of salmon fish. Oh, that was... Ooh, that actually smells good. How's the corned beef? Good. Hmm. I was just thinking I should go get the pepper too. You know, me and my pep frito. They don't know me. I pepper up everything. Sorry, I'm eating my spoon. So, I heard that you eat um, tikalu with with um, the meats and stuff, like as like it was rice or something. I mean, mm -hmm. well, it makes sense. It kind of balances out the food, right? Mm-hmm. It's like how it's we good eat, right? right? Yeah. I ate the, the corned beef and the gala. I'm trying to get barbecue chicken. Oh, what about the fai It's right there. Oh. Do you eat it with the meat too? Mmm. How is it? Not bad. Probably use a little hot sauce. The best time to go to um, this spa is on the weekends. I don't know if they like cook extra food or yeah, I think cook so. extra dishes. We, we went there on the weekday. Mm -hmm. They probably uh, do it big on the on the weekends. I remember going there all the time. Mm -hmm. When I was a little girl. Sorry y'all, I gotta wash this down already. <clears throat> this is so good if you guys haven't tried this. Ice. It's like zero sugar, made with antioxidants and vitamins, so I don't know how true that is, but it's good. Did you try your um, bowl of Mm-hmm. Mm. Malayan salt. Crackle pepper. How was it, honey? Good. <laughs> this makes me want to go back to some more. It does. I mean, I wouldn't even mind going back to New Zealand to, to go eat. You said you want to go to Cook's Island? We can't really go any plan to go anywhere. I know. Wishful thinking. I think we should do more mukbangs. <clears throat> so we do the chicken. Bruh. <laughs> My bad. Chicken. This is good. 
So I forgot who who was the um who was the one that was commenting on your channel that that brought this up to go visit um this place in Daly City, Polynesian Luau. Didn't we go there when we first met? Mm-hmm. The phone one store? Mm -hmm. When year do we meet? Let's see if she knows this. She's bad with dates. 2012. 13. Eh. Oh yeah, 13, because Mason was just turning three. Huh. <laughs> She's right, 13. And when did I propose to you? 12, 13, 40. That's an easy one for her to remember. It's my favorite vegetable. Wait. Your favorite vegetable? Dang it. Cucumber, is that a vegetable? Yep. She got Who's this? Shimmy Shake. That's a... Uh... KD. KD. I think we should do uh, the mukbang, babe. The um, chicken sandwich mukbang. I don't want to do that. I burped so many times. Oh well. And you still like me. Yeah, like? You still wanted to date me. Just like me farting. Like that one time. I'm eating. <laughs> <gasps> Who cares? Just that one time. It sets it off. Chicken is pretty good. Pretty tasty. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They always have barbecue chicken, barbecue chicken. Mm -hmm. On every corner, selling barbecue chicken. Oh, your Auntie Malia knows, knows her. Mm -hmm. The owner. She's probably been going to her for so long. Every yeah. Her business is probably open up by. Mm-hmm. Can you do a, a, a pho mukbang? You can do whatever you want to do, hun. No, I'm asking you, is there, have you seen one out there? Yeah, there's so many. Oh, I don't know. There's live octopuses. Oh. They, right when you're eating it, they keep moving their legs to your face. It's they like eat it raw? Mm-hmm. Oh, I can't do that. I mean, I'll eat it, but I just can't eat that raw. Hell no. Nah. I don't need a raw or cooked breath. Mm -mm. No, 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 no. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna do more mukbangs because you know how we love to eat. You love to eat. I want a diet. <laughs> I know it's hard, huh? I'm not. I'm not on a, on a diet, guys. Don't come at me, y'all. But I've been watching what I eat. I indulge when I want to. But there's a way that I do it, basically. I, I just work out really hard. I know. You don't want to talk about how we met? You swear that this, like, story's gonna be, like, the longest. She, she got in my DMs on Facebook. She hit me up on Facebook. <laughs> Wrong. She initiated me. <laughs> what's, your, what's, what's your story then? How, how did we meet? Anyway, so our friend, actually my parents' neighbor and his friend. That's how we ended up meeting. I have a friend slash co-worker <clears throat> that lives in a court. And obviously in a court, it's easy to know your neighbors. So my friend slash co-worker hanged out with Justine's dad and there's another neighbor that was um, I guess stays in between my co-worker so they'll have barbecues they shut down the court and they'll have barbecues and stuff and uh, our friend um, Rita was playing Cupid and was just kind of pushing pushing and pushing for us to go ahead and and uh go out on a date or just kind of pursue something talking so that's when 
she hit me up on Facebook. Yeah, because she kept telling... <clears throat> Wait, did I hit you up on Facebook before I actually met you? Yes. Oh, I did? Wow, I was thirsty, y'all. <laughs> I'm ashamed. I, I, I remember like it was yesterday. I was at work. Um, I was at work in the office. And I just got this... Ding! And I checked it. Who what did I say? I don't what know. What exactly did I say? You know what? Let me see if I can actually find it. It might be still in here. Since I slid in your DMs. Yeah. Let me see. Corn oh. beef is pretty bomb. Wait. Yeah, that's right. Because it was it was uh it was it was my friend co-worker's birthday. He's actually at 420 baby. Hey, Blaze. Um <laughs> But yeah. Wow. Four, 420 was a day and this was dated at 4 22 2013. No, you got this all wrong, bro. Mm hmm. Okay, <clears throat> this is the correct story, y'all. So, that neighbor was telling me about him, was telling him about me. Whoop de woo. I ended up adding him on Instagram. When I added him on Instagram, when he accepted my request, I was like, look, I went through his profile and, and back then is when you, that's when you like all the photos or some of the photos. So you go through and I just started liking. I was like, okay, like, 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 like. Did I message you on there? No, you messaged me on Facebook. I don't think Instagram. But I met you on 420. Yes, you met me on that's 420. 422. Right, right. 422. So after we met, that's when you actually hit me up on Facebook. Okay, so I got the dates wrong. But yeah, it was back on 4-22-2013. We met at uh, my friend's birthday party. And uh... Met at his friend's birthday party because it was at the friend that, the other neighbor that, you know, was trying to tell us about each other. And then, um, yeah, I was there with my son, Mason. And he was super little. He was two years old at the time. And so I see this guy and I was like, oh, that's the guy that she keeps telling me about. That's the guy. He walks in and then he just shakes my hand. He says, hi, I'm Joe. And I'm like, I know exactly who you are. I know exactly who you are. I knew who she was too. I actually know. You know what? I actually met her sister first. Yeah. Because I was walking was in. Out, I was already in the backyard, but you met my mom and my sister on the out on in the front of the house because he was walking in. Yeah. Yeah, I met the sister first and then her mom. And it was weird because her mom kind of intimidated and says, Hi. I'm the mom. I'm the mom. I was like, dang, okay. But anyways, after that. The rest was history. That's yeah. when I met the love of my life. She he was wasn't even a... looking at me, so I was like, he's not even interested, mm -hmm. whatever. She was playing hard to get in the beginning. I will go in for a kiss, and this is what she'd do. No, okay. Why are you going to kiss somebody that you just met? Why am I, I going to kiss somebody that, like, literally, he wanted me to kiss, you wanted me to kiss you on your lips? Yeah. Like, every time, like... Probably about like a, a few weeks after that, like when we started like hanging out and stuff, all of a sudden, he's over here leaning in for kisses. And I'm like, hell, like I just met, damn. She, she's playing hard to get. No, it's not even about that. Whatever. I'm just it's your just friend. More, it's just more of a challenge. I just want to be his friend to get to know him. With benefits. And then this guy over here, a full on trying to kiss me. <laughs> Like, why am I gonna, why am I already gonna kiss you after two, three weeks of meeting you? That's how I roll. I mean, come on, three weeks? We've been talking, texting. Like, on the phone for hours. It's like, man, I'm invested so much time in this. At least, you know, give me a kiss. Show me you're interested, dang. By kissing you? Yeah! Me not talking hey. to you and showing isn't that, you hey, interest? Isn't that some kind of validation after three weeks? You know, you talk, you go out, you visit. It's like, 
Hugging is one thing. It's like, man, am I in the friend zone here or whatnot? I wanted to get to know you. You did know me. <coughs> oh, well. You're over here trying to make out and <laughs> Bruh. Oh, well. I still rubbed her in, though. But yeah, so after that day, we started hanging out more and he lived in probably about an hour away from me. And we just started hanging out more and he started coming over his friend's house every weekend. And my mom was like, why is he coming over every weekend? And my dad's like, oh, Joe's here again. Oh, Joe's bringing you breakfast. Yeah. He'd make breakfast at his friend's house and then deliver it to my mom's house. And I'd be like, oh, God. was barbecuing. Barbecuing. Her dad loved it. It's like, damn. I don't know. Mom's I just like, love oh, Joe's here again with food. I'm like, hey, fellas, food is where the heart is. I'm like, oh, Joe's, Joe, okay. Mom comes knocking on my door. Joe's here again. He brought boiling crab. Joe's here again. He made corned beef and rice and eggs. And I'm like, mm -hmm. wow, he really likes me or something, huh? Still wouldn't give me a kiss. Really? Yeah. I'll comment down below. Comment down below if you will kiss a guy after three weeks. Three weeks. Come on. Three weeks. Three weeks? Yeah. Like we're kicking it hard. How? How? What's hard? What's kicking it hard? Like you will come over. We will go to the movies. We will go out to dinner. Within like three weeks. Yeah. That's 21 days, y'all. Would y'all kiss a, a guy after 21 days? Comment down below. All right? Comment down below. Watch. Watch. I bet you anything, all your subscribers are going to say, you know what? Three weeks after kicking it so hard going out, you owe him a kiss. She was just playing hard to get. I was playing boundaries, y'all. <laughs> boundaries. No, I, don't I ain't trying to be all over you the first time I met you. Whatever. I was like, I don't know. I just when remember. Do you, when do you guys think that is like the good time to for a first kiss? How far along since you met the, the first person, day? Do you think you should ever kiss somebody? I think it should be like three months. Three to six. Three to six solid months. To go in for that kiss. Hell no. Wait, I say three to six months for a kiss. Come on, three months? I don't know. For a kiss? Maybe that's why. You know what? Bye, Felicia. Deuces. Bye. Once you kiss somebody, I feel like, well, for me, like, I feel like you're, com you're like a little bit committed. Like, you're com a little bit like feeling this guy. Like, you're ready to take the next step into I don't know. You know what? Like, I kiss? I don't like know. That's like it's like intimate. Like it's a little bit of an intimate. I don't know about three three weeks or three months. I think three weeks is already long enough. Give me a headache. Like I already told her. Like I, I don't know. You what? Know what? 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 So I'm getting full. We still got. Mmm. It's called. Mmm. 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 I'm laying in my bed and I can't sleep. Hmm? She asked me, do I live in the same town as her? I see. You're so dry. <laughs> I was supposed to, supposed to. Oh, I see. What else is on here? I don't want to go through this. I know. I'm, I'm kind of interested. No. Was, what did I say? No. You, you go look at yours. Deleted. Just kidding. <laughs> Still there. Are you done? Are you done? Oh yeah, here's the water. Cheers. Welcome back. We just got done eating our traditional Samoan food from the Polynesian Luau. And then now we um, have some sweets that you can find in the islands. First things first. I didn't, do you remember seeing Tim Tams? You know, we weren't even looking for it when we were in Samoa. We actually got our Tim Tams from New Zealand. Um, we 
obviously gifted a lot of the Tim Tams and ate them all by now, but we did find this one at the Polynesian Luau. Oh, maybe what? we should go there. Australia next? Australia, don't worry, I'm not gonna rope you. <laughs> <laughs> Who is that? Um, but he's from New Zealand. Peyton. Peyton. Is it Peyton? Peyton, if you're watching this, can you please comment down below because I would like to link up with you. You're so funny. If you yes. guys don't remember um, from our Samoa vlogs, we picked up um, these two random from the students. Me Methodist Church mm -hmm. when we went to the Pi... Pi Pu Pula? Piula K. Piula. Piula. So um, if you guys don't remember him, I'll insert a clip here of um, when he was all like, don't worry, I'm not going to rope you. <laughs> don't worry, we're not going to rope you. Who's but the anyway, other guy, babe? The, the, the name's, name's killing me. John. John? His name was John. John. <clears throat> John thing. Yeah, so comment down below so I can link or get in touch with you guys because I would love to say hello and see how you guys are doing. Um, also, um, we do have some some chips. So we have the gluten-free Samoa Crunch Taro chips. And these are in the flavor, in the barbecue flavor. Oh man, this new lighting is too legit. Too, okay. too legit to be me. I met MC Hammer. Yes, yes you did. I remember you telling me. You showed oh, me. Oh yeah, that's picture. right. This is a taro chip from Samoa that we brought back. And they're gluten-free and they're barbecue flavor. If you guys go to the island, you'll see this everywhere too. Bongo chips, and there's two different flavors. Um, this one is chicken flavor. It's like a little snack, kind of like our Cheeto or something. And then this one is a cheese flavor. Which one is your chicken. favorite? I haven't even tried these, y'all, so you guys are gonna try it with me because I haven't tried these before. None of these, except the Tim Tams. But the Tim Tams that I did have was the, um, the white, the white chocolate. chocolate. Ooh, awesome. Alright. Are you gonna finish these tomorrow? No, I'm just kidding. Where's the tape so we can see? I can taste the barbecue. I can taste the barbecue in there. I can too. I just All like right. the re regular plain mm -hmm. um, tarot chips from. I know, the from restaurant. Oddies. When they, when they, um, because they fry it there and then they bring it to your table and it's just like warm, yes. freshly fried. Break. Let's go ahead and try the, um, the chicken flavored snack, the bongo. Baked, not fried, made with corn and rice and it's halal certified. So where is this made? Well, this is about to expire. I got to All right, y'all. So it looks like this. It tastes like a Cheeto with chicken broth powder. I'm not really a snack food eater. Okay, you do the honors for the cheese. I feel like the cheese is going to be better than the chicken. Mm. Munch on a bongo now. You know what that tastes like? This, this tastes like, um, like the, the noodles packet, the MSG or, or the, the flavoring packet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what it tastes like. Like the, um, like the rom, the top ramen. Yeah, the top ramen. Like you have like just Cheetos, like plain Cheetos with nothing on it. And then you put the top ramen seasoning, the chicken flavor, and then you shake up the back. Mm -hmm. So this one's the cheese. I feel like these ones are gonna be better. All right. Mm. Wait. I gotta get that. I got that taste mm. still in my mouth. Mm. Like, like a little bit it's left. Like it's like Friday. It's like spit. 
Angela Hug told me to make um, pancakes and I've never made pancakes before. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that in a vlog one day for y'all to show you how to make it. After I do some research because I never grew up, like I said, I never grew up on um, Samoan food. Only time I was ever exposed to Samoan food is when um, we would go to our family parties. That's the only time I was um, exposed to Samoan food. Other than that, oh, are they gonna have a grand thing? I don't know. I wonder. Is it a um, breakfast thing, or is it just a snack thing? I think it might. I have no idea. That's my mom. I think they're like a little bit over five dollars. Was it like five dollars and fifty cents, or five dollars and twenty five? Oh, yeah, so like under under six American bucks. American dollars. Yeah, when um over at the the Polynesian New Well. I don't know where else they would sell these. Mm -hmm. I've never really like seen them. They have different flavors. This one's um... Double chocolate. Irresistible chocolate biscuit. I'm not really a chocolate fan. <laughs> it says health star, it says health star rating 0.5. <laughs> what is that? The lower it is, the unhealthier it is, or is it the higher it is, the unhealthier it is? Yeah, I just say just eat. Here's again. Mmm. Mm. Jinx. Get off my brain wave. This is pretty bomb. Mmm. Yeah. Man, this is hella good. I feel a heads up. Oh. Mm. No, because I was I was looking at this. If it says um keep refrigerated. Yeah, this is bomb. This is pretty bomb. <laughs> I wasn't expecting this, it honestly. Says, it I says, wasn't expecting uh, this. Original, made with irresistible real chocolate. Mmm. Mm. How could you describe this? It almost tastes like a Twix. Right? Mm -hmm. Without the caramel. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, it's hella good. Alright, so that's the end of this mukbang video um thank you guys so much for watching and thank you babe for being in my video special guest special guest appearance because so i'm gonna go ahead and conclude this video right here thank you guys so so much for watching subscribe to my youtube channel also um give it a thumbs up and like this video <laughs> comment down below if you'd like to say hello and I will see you guys next time in a new video. Bye! Bye!